Today we are working on this Minkota Ultrax on this Ranger Bay 2260. This is a crusty old trolling motor with some oxidation and peeling. You can see the rust forming there from where it's starting to get up under this coating here. See here where the coating's already come off. It's flaking off. So we're going to attempt to fix this in a right way before we just replace it. But here I've already been working on, I've peeled this whole end cap. I've been trying to sand down, get through the oxidation that you see here, any rust and then any debris. So I am going to prime and recoat this with something more along the lines of a line X type coating. But anyway, I'm back out here. We'll come back in whenever we got a completed part to show you here. All right, right now we have sanded and we have just put a fresh coat of our first coat of material here. I know it looks like primer. I'm getting a zoom in and show you what it actually is. So here is the two products we're using. It is an ACE galvanizing compound. It has 92% zinc. I'm down here in the salt water, so this is just an extra way I can go to protect the metal on that. And the next thing we're going to use is this rubberized undercoating. Now, there's another manufacturer of trolley motor, mine's a Minkota, and they use a Linex material on all of theirs, which is where I got the idea to do this. All right, here we are finished with the two part recoat, the lower unit of this Minkota trolley motor. I'll show you here the two products we used and the results. So here are the two products we used. We basically used the galvanized coating like a primer. That galvanized coating is 92% zinc, which also helps with rust pre prevention. And then we topped it with that rubberized undercoat, which is also another sealer. So it actually seals in that zinc as well as seals away water. That zinc has a uh, says on the packaging that if it, uh, you get a scratch in the coating, it'll actually prevent the rust from expanding beyond that. But there it is, looks brand new. I opted to not paint the bracket that goes around the transducer there. When I reassembled it, I decided to leave that as an unpainted. I was worried about a clearance interference there. So you have it if you have a. Minn Kota, or any other trolling motor for that fact, the powder coatings peeling off of the lower unit there. Easy fix. I opted to do the galvanized coating, especially because I'm down here in the salt water. You could probably do just a traditional acid etch primer and then that rubberized undercoating, but for no more money than it was. I only spent about $20 on the two cans there, so there you guys have it. Have a great day.